of those kids that peaked in high school that were mean to everybody. What do you think they're doing now? Ooh, ooh, fighting in Target over Stanley Cups. On Facebook, wishing me happy birthday or to support their small business. You make tumblers with NFL and Disney logos on them. That's not a small business. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. New year, new me. No, new year, new baby daddy. Five kids from six different babies' daddies. Your math isn't even making sense. Being a mother is a full-time job. Well, with all the child support you get, you definitely have made it into a very profitable career. If you ever really want to feel good about yourself, go look up the popular kids in high school. Because it's all of us who barely scrape by, who are social butterflies that are actually doing pretty well. You know, the breakfast club kids, the kids that just kind of hung out in everybody's little group. The ones that were the living embodiment of C's get degrees. My wife and I both recently had our 20 year high school reunions and everybody's like, do you want to go? No, no, I'm good. You don't want to go and see what everybody's been up to or what everybody's doing? Nah, not really, I don't care just have never understood the idea of seeking approval from people who just don't matter from you. People whose opinions just don't mean anything. They hold no merit. They hold no value. I don't really care if you're happy with what I'm doing in my life because it doesn't matter to me. I'm not trying to flaunt off success or failure. I just generally don't care. But it is a fun game of Facebook stalking because if you can go back and look up your homecoming queen, I looked up the homecoming king and the homecoming queen. One's in prison, one's a dude now. I'll let you decide which one's which.